Have you ever been to a place where you feel insignificant because it's so vast? Covering one third of the entire country, Western Australia is one of those places. There is so much to see and do here. To cover everything in one video would almost be impossible. Here are 10 must do's from Perth to Monkey Maya. Just nine hours north of Perth is Monkey Maya. Most come here to feed the wild dolphins, but there is a lot more to see and do here. But first we'll start with feeding the wild dolphins. At the Monkey Maya Dolphin Resort, you wade into the water knee deep, then a supervisor will select a few from your group to feed some of the wild dolphins. These dolphins have been coming here for over 40 years. We were fortunate enough to get two opportunities to feed them. The dolphins usually visit up to three times a day. While waiting between the times the dolphins come in shore, you can walk the beach and hang out with the pelicans that frequent it. It's a day you'll never forget. You love animals, don't you? Yeah. Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, is cool. this is cool. Next is an eco cruise where you go on a catamaran to see dolphins, sea turtles, dugongs, which is similar to a manatee, and if you're lucky, you get to see a shark or two. The cruise sets sail from Monkey Maya's Dolphin Resort and there's a half day adventure. The easiest to spot are the dolphins and the dugongs. We get lucky and also saw a sea turtle, but no sharks. Sharks are easier to spot certain times of the year. Pretty awesome, we just saw some bottlenose dolphins feeding just off the port here. The cruise is fully catered, plus at the end of the trip you get a chance to sit in what we call the shark bait net. We highly recommend this. The costs are between 60 and 100 Aussie dollars per adult depending on the time you go. This is perfect. We got the whole boat almost to ourselves. This catamaran holds like 49 people and there's only about six or seven of us. So we are super lucky today. Woo! 20 minutes away from Monkey Maya is the town of Denham, which is a great place to stay when visiting Monkey Maya. 10 minutes away from Denham is the Artesian hot tub in the Peron Homestead Precinct. This hot tub is in the middle of nowhere and is fed from an underground water supply that comes from the surface naturally. This location is frequented by wildlife. We were lucky enough to see a kangaroo while there. The spa is relaxing and you can watch the sunset and see the stars in the sky. The road to get there though is not paved and covered with desert sand. Make sure you have a vehicle that can handle this road before going. Holy crap, that was awesome. What was the best part? We got it all to ourselves in the middle of the desert. Have you ever been to a beach with no sand and only shells? Well, Shell Beach is made up of billions of tiny shells up to 10 meters deep and stretching over 70 kilometers. This beach is one of a handful of places in the world where shells replace sand in such a beautiful way. It's definitely not the softest place to lie down, but it's a great spot for a walk with a beautiful view. Do you want to see sharks and not get in the water? Then Eagle Bluff Lookout is the place to go. 20 kilometers south of Denham is an imposing bluff protecting shallow waters teeming with marine life. This lookout gives you the chance to see a multitude of sea life like rays, sharks, dugons, and turtles. If you come during sunset, you won't be disappointed. If you love scenic hikes, then you'll love Nature's Window, located in Calberry National Park. This is one of Western Australia's iconic natural attractions. You'll feel like you're on a different planet with the red layers of Tumla Gouda sandstone. Make sure you bring lots of water and proper footwear. You're thirsty. Already, we just started. The window marks the beginning and end of an eight kilometer loop walking trail. Next is Blue Holes Lagoon, located along the Red Bluff Road just outside of Calberry. It's renowned for exceptional snorkeling due to the protected waters and rock pools, which make it a natural aquarium for marine life. You can see the fish and, and there's all these little islands here, but they're made of seashells. It's kind of cool and the waves are big. You can walk along the pristine sandy beach and examine rock pools along the shore, swim in sheltered waters and laze about on soft sand. It's an amazing place for kids and family. Just two and a half hours north of Perth lies Jurian Bay. This is a great spot to take a short break. Man, this is ever beautiful. The Indian Ocean rocks. I'm gonna show you some drone shots of this because it's so gorgeous. The beach at Durian Bay is one of the most beautiful in the world. It has pristine white sand and is second to none. 
It's a great place to swim, fish, and even skydive. You may even get lucky and see some sea lions lazing in the sun. Have you ever seen pink water before? Well, Hut Lagoon at Port Gregory is a definite must-see. We're at Pink Lake. It's called Hut Lake. Just in Western Australia, and it's really cool. Now, the water kind of looks reddish, actually, or rust-colored, but it's a, it's a pink. Just 45 minutes south of Calberry, the lagoon covers roughly 70 square kilometers and is a few meters below sea level. It's separated from the Indian Ocean by a beach barrier ridge. The pink hue is created by the presence of carotenoid producing algae, which is a source of beta carotene, a food coloring agent, and a source of vitamin A. We didn't drink the water though. The Pinnacles is one of the most unique sights to see. Located in Australia's Nambung National Park along the Indian Ocean, these amazing natural limestone structures formed approximately 25 to 30,000 years ago after the sea receded and left deposits of seashells. The coastal winds then removed the surrounding sand, leaving the stunning pillars exposed. Some of these pillars stand as high as 3.5 meters. Numbug National Park covers 17,500 hectares. There is a small entrance tree, then you get to drive and walk through this beautiful park. It's a sight that you'll never forget or regret seeing. Western Australia is a big place with tons to do. Watch our other videos, Things to Do in Perth and Perth to Margaret River for more great tips. We'll put the links in the description which pertain to this video to help you plan your time in Western Australia. We'd also love to hear from you and your adventures, so please join our Facebook group to connect with us. The link is in the description. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more fun videos. Ugh, stupid flies. Ah! I hate these flies.